In today's video, let's take a look at some Geonode add-ons that focus on generating buildings and cities, in addition to other structures. These add-ons can handle things like buildings, stadiums, and apartments by generating structures from simple inputs, usually a curve or a mesh. They don't replace modeling entirely, but they do take care of repetitive tasks and help you block out scenes faster. We're gonna start with procedural alleys which focuses on creating quick alleyway layout using geometry nodes. You would input a basic shape, usually a grid or a curve, and it would assemble modular walls, add windows, and scatter props like vents, signs, pipes, and AC units. Most elements have built-in variation, like sign types, window sizes, and color placements, which can be changed and shifted with each generation. You could adjust parameters like building height, number of floors or prop density to get different results from the same input. This made it useful for generating multiple layout options or testing how assets fit into a scene. This is especially practical for early layout design or maybe lighting tests, in addition to building quick backgrounds for rendering your projects. From the same developer, we have procedural stadiums. This is a geometry node add-on for generating buildings complete with sport venues directly in Blender. You can start with a simple curve, and the tool generates an arena with stands, seats, tunnels, and roofs, which are all automatically laid out based on your settings. You can actually control seat spacing, staircases, in addition to VIP sections, and choose between four stadium exteriors, which are modern, classic, and stylized, in addition to industrial. Stadium parts like scoreboards, Field elements or audiences can be added separately, that is, if you want more control over layout. Also, there is the seat image projection system by importing an image. Its colors are mapped onto the seating arrangement, letting you design large mosaics or logos without manual work. Presets allow you to save and reuse designs easily. There are also options to hide elements or use LODs, so even high-capacity scenes can remain lightweight. Next, we're going to talk about Procedural Building Generator version 2, which is now set back with geometry node setups. You will have to open the blend file, and from there, you can apply presets directly through the asset browser. It's modular by design, so you can swap styles, add your own assets, and mix presets across different floors. And it also supports interior mapping, using simple polygon-based fake rooms behind windows, which is going to be cheap to render but visually convincing from a distance. Since it adapts to any 3D mesh, you are not restricted to floor plans. You can drop a preset on Susan or sculpted form, and you will still get a working building layout. Now we're gonna talk about City Generator, which takes things a step further, I mean compared to procedural alleys and stadiums, by focusing on entire city layouts instead of just one part. It uses geometry nodes to build streets, blocks and buildings all together, which means you can create detailed urban scenes pretty fast. Like the other tools, it relies on modular pieces and built-in variation to keep the city from feeling repetitive. You will have control over things like road patterns, block sizes, and building styles, so the final look can fit different types of cities. There is also support for traffic simulation and street-level details, like street lights and benches which adds a bit more life to the scenes, and its edge loop or change added to the plane will affect the layout. With something different, we have Procedural Roof Generator, which takes a simple mesh and turns it into a roof with tiles, ridges, dormers, solar panels, and even snow guards. It includes seven presets, but lets you customize on multiple levels. From tweaking individual roofs in the Modifier tab to adjusting global styles in the Node Editor, or changing materials with dirt and rain sliders in the shader editor. Dormers and solo panels are added using custom attributes. The workflow usually involves shaping your roof, letting the generator do its work, then applying the modifier to turn it into a static mesh for easier manual editing. Just a heads up, the roof generator now requires Blender 4 for better performance and stability. The older 3.6 version is still around, but won't be supported moving forward. Now, let's talk about an add-on that actually makes apartment modeling less of a drag. 
The ICS apartment layout generator takes care of building walls, floors, ceilings and baseboards just from a simple 2D floor plan that you create. So basically you sketch out the shape as a plane and the system fills in the rest automatically. Each face on your plan becomes a room and edges turn into walls. You can create layouts for any complexity by extruding or rounding corners. Adding windows, doors or stair openings is just a matter of inserting predefined collections and the holes get cut for you. And since it is procedural and non-destructive, letting you adjust sizes and details whenever you want is obvious. Plus, it comes with pre-made baseboards in addition to clean topology and it works for low poly and high poly setups. And a good bonus, you will get example files and instructions with a download. So jumping in is gonna be easy. The tool is actually worth checking out if you wanna skip the boring part of interior scenes. From the same developer, we have another add-on called ACS Stair Generator, and I'm sure you can imagine what it does. It basically provides procedural tools for creating stairs and spiral staircases. You add the system to an object, then adjust parameters like step count, width, height, and materials to fit your needs. Settings are grounded based on staircase elements to keep things organized, and by default, values help avoid confusion. The generator also includes procedural railings, with an optional ACS railing generator for more customization and compatibility. This add-on is actually nice for both quick drafts and final production meshes, including example files and instructions. From what I can see, it aims to streamline the modeling process by offering a flexible, parameter-driven approach to stairs in architectural scenes. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these geometry node add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.